What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you the toxic growth glitch again. However, my aim is for you guys to get first try and have no issues at all whilst doing the glitch. A lot of people have been commenting on my videos saying it's been patched or the Megaton hits you. However, it's not been patched. I know this glitch is very hard to get into, so I'm going to be showing you obviously the best technique. And in my opinion anyway, I get it most of the time first try. Just before we begin, I also want to tell you something about going AFK on Xbox. Now, in terms of PlayStation and PC, I'm not too sure, so I do apologise. However, with Xbox, obviously I'm on there. If you want to go AFK and make sure your controller doesn't die or obviously anything pops up so then it pauses the game. Basically, first of all, you want to have your Xbox controller plugged into the Xbox. So don't use batteries or anything like that. Make sure it's wired. Second step is make sure you go into your actual settings on your xbox go into preferences go into idle options and make sure where it's got show things when go idle make sure that is turned off so say for example if someone invites you and you're not playing for like an hour that will come up it won't come up anymore literally all you'll see is the game nothing else and the game won't go poor so yeah just obviously a little update for you that's something i never mentioned in my last video and obviously it'll help you grey fk so yeah so if you enjoyed, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, make sure you have the notifications turned on so you don't miss a video in the future. Now, onto the glitch. So both of these glitches are located on D-Machine and as you can see, in order to do this one with a toxic growth, you are going to need to have the pile-up glitch spot on. So basically, I'd highly recommend having stamina up for this. Have a long run up, jump as you can see where I am here, I'll put it in slow motion for you and eventually you'll get into a position where your legs start to float in the air. As you can see here, all the zombies pile up underneath you, so obviously it works. Right, so in order to do the toxic growth, all you want to do is have all the zombies pile up in the location, so use decoys. From there, you want to have your toxic growth and make sure most of the zombies, if not all, are affected by the toxic growth. Now, obviously in this clip, I've done two. However, you only need to use one now. Obviously, someone has discovered that. I'll show you in another section of this video as well how you can do it. But basically, as long as all the zombies are condensed in one location, most of the time you get it first try with the toxic growth only using one. So obviously, it really does help. There's no timing at all. All it is is just make sure you have a big pole of zombies in front of you. Now, in terms of the Megatons, as you can see here, I'll put it in fast motion for you. They didn't really cause that much damage to me. I've got quick revive, obviously, so I can you know heal up faster. But if you notice, I didn't really take that much damage from them and it, because they're getting damage from the toxic growth anyway, they don't attack you. So a lot of people obviously saying that the Megaton kills you. I'm not too sure if it does. Maybe you're not in the correct position or maybe your legs aren't floating. So just double check that. Anyway, we have the second spot and obviously the last one of today's video. As you can see, this is the technique. All you need to do is throw down the decoy grenade. Make sure the zombies are in a tight spot. This is a technique that I was on about before. Obviously, in terms of you can do it with just the one. As you can see there, all the zombies pile up. Now, for this pile up location, you need to come to this fence here, as you can see. Crouch whilst doing it. And then when you get to the point where there's like a little debris sticking out, that's where you want to go prone. As you come up, you obviously start to levitate. It's really weird. But basically, when you get halfway, you'll hit a wall. You simply need to move your left stick back the tiniest little bit, go around it, and then you come up to this location here. And as you can see there, obviously, all the zombies pile up underneath me. You don't see them because you can't like move the left stick because obviously you're crouching or obviously prone. But you can see, obviously, all the zombies are getting killed from it. So that is obviously an updated version of the Toxic Growth. Hopefully, with this help, obviously, you can get it first time. I'm currently doing it. I'm on round 13. I've literally gone AFK. I think I've done it on like round 10 with the technique in terms of doing it with just the one toxic growth and i am on the plane one I, I prefer that one over the other one purely because you can see the zombies and obviously when the megaton comes you can get more bonus from killing him in terms of the other one that i showed you in the spawn with the one where you go prone and crawl up the wall the megaton does actually spawn outside on the pool so as you can see here i'll put it on for you so in terms of which ones you want to prefer that's completely up to you i prefer the one which is on the plane wing but both of these work, guys. I am on Xbox, and I believe someone did comment on my last video, which I really appreciate, that the glitch that I've just shown you here, the second one, does actually work on PC. So everyone can have a glitch, whether it's the first or second one. So obviously you choose. But yeah, people, that's brought us to the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel as always, and take care.